2022 Alfa Romeo Giulia Features Review. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss about the new 2022 Alfa Romeo in depth, from interior to exterior, and every minute detail of every feature. So without any further ado, let's just dive into that. Overview After its 2020 update, we call the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio a real M3 beater and the new benchmark for high-performance compact luxury sedans. Alfa clearly believes that the Giulia Quadrifoglio is fundamentally just right, as the sports sedan moves into 2022 with no major updates. Things can change in a short space of time though, and the all-new BMW 3 has arrived to reclaim its crown. More than anything, the M3 must try to overcome the fact that the Alfa is one of the most emotionally charged sedans ever, mixing sweet chases dynamics with sharp steering and a phenomenal 505 horsepower twin turbo V6 engine that will see the Quadrifoglio reach 60 mph in under 4 seconds. Add in the Alfa's stunning style and its formidable package, yes, it lacks the build integrity of the Germans and the trunk isn't that big. But in the context of what a sports sedan is meant to be, the Alpha's highs fair outweighs its few flaws. With a 505 HP twin turbocharged V6 under its bulging hood, the 2022 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio turns up the heat on the sports sedan segment. It shares its chassis and interior with the standard Giulia, which means it inherits that car shapes handling and fun to drive demeanor. But that Ferrari Drive 6 is really the star of the show. Its performance rivals establish players the BMW 3 and the Mercedes AMG C63, as well as the new Cadillac CD5 V Blackwing, but it offers a certain Italian flavor that's missing from those sedans. While our long term Giulia Quadrifoglio was plagued with reliability issues, we still think the car's performance and charisma make it worth a look for buyers seeking driving thrills. What's new for 2022? Additional standard equipment joins the Giulia Quadrifoglio spec sheet for 2022, including a new wireless smartphone charging pad, an air quality system, heated front and rear seats, and an auto dimming rear view mirror. Additional assistant features have been added as standard too, including lane departure warning and automatic high beam headlamps. We wouldn't add much to Giulia's equipment list, as already boasts desirable features such as in-dash navigation, blind spot monitoring, heated front seats, front and rear parking sensors, and 15-speaker Harman Kardon audio system. We would want the $1,000 Active Assist Plus package though, as it comes with lane keeping assist, a driver attention monitor, and Alfa's semi-autonomous high assist system. Engine, transmission, and performance. With its Rhapsodic Twin Turbo 2.9 liter V6, and a well-calibrated 8-speed automatic transmission, the rear-drive-only Giulia Quadrifoglio is a right to pilot. The Italian-built Ferrari-drived engine produces 505 horsepower, 443 pound-feet of torque, and a spine-tingling timber that shames most rivals. Too bad a manual transmission isn't available. We're also sad to report that Alfa Romeo lives up to its reputation for unreliability, with our long-termer exhibiting several mechanical glitches. The Giulia's engine contains its excitement when cruising at low RPM and in top gear. Applying the throttle below 3000 RPM results in merely a hint of hesitation, but then the turbos spool up and power builds in a whirlwind of acceleration and ripping exhaust notes. The 8-speed automatic gearbox is decisive and quick to swap gears in the sportier drive modes, and the Giulia's supple chassis is a willing partner in high-spirited hijinks. The Alpha shines on track and handles daily driving well, with perfect damping and notable isolation from harsh impact. These Estria driving modes don't compromise ride quality either, and then there's the sensational steering setup. The thin rimmed steering wheel feels like a blast from the past, offering feather light effort, communicative feedback, and pleasingly quick response. The synthesis of these traits is what separates the Quadrifoglio from its main rivals and helped it win a comparison test against the M3. Interior Comfort and Cargo The Giulia's interior is composed of leather surfaces and fox hood accents. The attractive front seats are supportive without being restrictive. A pair of racing-oriented Vacro buckets are available, but they lack the power adjustments and heating elements of standard set. The switchgear and swooping dashboard carry over from the regular Giulia, but the Quadrifoglio adds a copious amount of carbon fiber trim. 
The QF's trunk would accommodate four carry-on suitcases, which was average for this class. The reasonably sized center console adds a bit of front row storage. Backseat passengers are limited to small door pockets and cargo netting on the back of front seats to store their stuff. Infotainment and connectivity. The 8.8 inch infotainment display and the dash can be controlled by touch or by your rotary knob on the center console. The interface is customizable and intuitive, but the driver may have some difficulty hitting the smaller on-screen icons when the vehicle is in motion. Still, Alpha's system has a wealth of features and comes in navigation and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. A 15-speaker Harman Kardon sound system is also standard. While the latest BMW M3 may turn more heads due to the sheer shock factor of its gapping, the elongated grille Alfa Romeo has chosen a different route. It simply designed a well-proportioned sedan. From the Kiwi's Wii Scudato grille to its quad exhaust exhaust outlets, it is absolutely gorgeous. The active aerodynamic enhancements extend to a front splitter system with dual electric actuators and a carbon fiber front chin spoiler while the hood and roof are also fashioned from carbon fiber. At the back, there is a sporty carbon fiber spoiler. Standard features include HID headlights, LED daytime running lights, LED tail lights, and exposed carbon fiber roof is available as an option. Exterior colors. Alfa Romeo has availed a selection of seven exterior colors for the Giulia Quadrifoglio, down from the last year's 12. Only the classic Alfa Rosso that is red goes for $330, with most other colors requiring an extra charge of $660. These metallic cues include Volcano Black, Vosuvio Gray, and Misano Blue. Silverstone Gray and Monte Carlo Blue drop off this list for 2022. Rosso Etna, a deep red, costs $1,200. For $2,200, buyers can choose from either Ankara GD Tricot or Very Montreal Tricot Green. While this car looks sublime in just about any color, other choice will be one of those scorching reds. Handling and Driving Impressions The Alpha's talents don't begin and end with its powertrain. If you're gonna conquer the BMW M3, you'd better engineer a car that knows its way around the twisties. And boy has Alfa Romeo done just that. With its quadrifoglio to an active suspension and ideal weight distribution, the Alpha manages to achieve the best of those two worlds. It's sharp without feeling nervous, exciting without being a chore to drive, and comfortable without ever feeling numb. Steering feel and feedback have been intentionally dialed out of many modern sedans, but the Alpha bucks this trend and communicates effectively, never leaving the driver in doubt as to what the front wheels are doing. If you have space to safely execute slides, this can be done so fluidly and with a high degree of control via the throttle. Body control is exceptional, while the 4-mode Alpha DNA Drive Mode Selector makes it easy to switch between dynamic, natural, advanced efficiency, and race modes. When you run out of road or track, the Brembo braking system with 6-piston front calipers will bring the sedan to a safe stop, although actual braking feel could be better. Despite its sensational dynamic abilities, the Julia proves to be an adept cruiser. Most bumps and surface changes are dispensed with calmly, so you can legitimately undertake long road trips in comfort. This car is a true triumph. Seating and interior space Five occupants can be accommodated in the Julia's cabin, but the Alpha lacks spaciousness of some competitors at the back. Here, occupants that are over 6 feet tall will feel a bit cramped, especially with regards to headroom, all the shorter trips should be fine. Ingrace and Agrace are also more challenging at the back due to the smaller door apertures. Things are a lot better in front, where the driver and passenger benefit from 12-way power adjustable sport seats. These seats boast power lumbar support and power bolsters, offering great support during hard cornering. However, individuals with a bigger frame may feel a bit constricted in those seats, even if the leg and headroom are good. Warranty and Maintenance Coverage Alfa Romeo's limited and powertrain warranties are average for the class. Its corrosion protection is also middling, and its complementary maintenance period is shorter than BMW's. Limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Complementary maintenance is covered for 1 year or 10,000 miles. Our Verdict 
For a certain kind of buyer looking for a focused sports sedan, the Alfa Romeo Giulia is a must-have. There's really no more entry-level four-door that comes close to matching its superb driving dynamics and unique road presence. But many will be put down by the compromises to passenger comfort and overall refinement it makes to achieve this goal. And this was all about the 2022 Alfa Romeo Giulia. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to latest luxury cars channel. Do press the bell icon for more exciting videos like this.